Okay, so welcome to another episode. This is the third one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so we left off with the uh, logger or debugger. Um, yeah, and we have unenable function. Um, well, let's start with uh, with the commands. So let's do stuff. So right click, new class, command, hello. Let's finish. And yeah, let's do click here implements command executor. We need to import it and create a method. Let's change this to true because, okay, so we have a new function called on command, and when the on command is called, it sends you command sender, which is actually a command sender, if you won't believe. Uh, it gives you like the pointer to a player or a console that issued the command. Then we have a command argument one, which is a command. Then we have a string, which is uh, an alias for that command. And then the string, which is ar which are arguments. Okay, so uh, let's see. So uh, oh yeah, and it's a boolean, which means that. I, we need to return true or false. If we return true, uh, it's gonna take it as a successful run. And if it if, and if it returns false, it's gonna show you the help of that qu uh, that command. Okay, so let's see if arguments dot length. So if we have more than if we have zero arguments, or if we have um. More than zero, it's gonna be just else. Uh, so else is gonna be. So else is gonna be like. Uh, okay, so let's just send him how many arguments he gave. So argo dot send message. You sent me uh, plus arg three dot length arguments okay and for the first one we can just say you sent me zero arguments I can do the same with I mean I, I could just send this and it would work but yeah why not um, yeah so if we run it right now if we export it I can just tell you that it's not gonna do anything um, so reload it's not doing anything, it's enabling it, and that's pretty much it. So we need to add something in main, or yeah. So I'm just gonna delete this because we don't need it anymore. And let's do uh, get command, and let's call it hello, dot set executor, and it's gonna be new, command hello. So yeah. Um, we have this and now it's gonna get called but it's not gonna work because we need to specify it in plugin.jml you're gonna see that so reload it crashes because it's a null pointer exception uh, on enable main java a this is null pointer exception because the hello the command hello has not been registered and we cannot get it because it's a null pointer exception so let's get let's type a new uh, thingy so it's a command, and then we type the name of the command, which is hello. That's why we want to get the command hello. And then we type description, which is uh, hails the world. And usage is uh, slash hello. Okay, let's export it now. Next, it's gonna warn us or not. Okay, so let's reload. Nope, thanks. Uh, reload. Oh, damn. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we should not be using spaces. We should be using. Uh, we should not be using tabs. We should be using spaces. Uh, one, two, three, four. So four spaces for one tab or one indentation. And that's what I showed you in previous third episode. 
Um, yeah, so it works now. And if we do slash hello, you say I sent you zero arguments. If I send you one, and how many I sent you, and enter, I sent you seven arguments. Okay, so that works. Um, this was just the basic of the commands. Um, we're gonna go in some more advanced stuff in the next episode. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and stay tuned for the next episode. See you all next time. Goodbye.